What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Dusty Fish Company. I'm Dusty. I am back in gorgeous Pensacola. Not really gorgeous Pensacola. It has been a rough, emotional, physically and mentally draining weekend. I've got Kevin from Salty Bottom Outdoors here with me. What's up, guys? He's cutting up some lemons and limes for us. Doing a little bit different video. Had a long weekend. I'll drop a clip right here. We started the weekend. His first night in town. Went to fish the docks. Had to run from a tornado. Drove right through it. I'll put that clip here. Y'all need to turn One car. around. Oh, we're in it. We're in it. We're in it. We're in fuck, it. Fuck. We're in it. Watch the curb. Go, 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 go. Then, we missed the first day of snapper season because the winds are blowing 30 plus miles an hour. Today, this morning, they were only blowing 20 to 25, so we, we roughed it, went out to the bay. Uh, we did get target species. I'll put one of the catches right here, two of them, but they were all juvenile American Red Snapper. Let's go. Okay, my first snapper of the day. <sighs> did get a couple. We were out there five, six hours before more tornadoes and bad weather. We're getting ready to roll in, so we got off the water. Back at the house, I did drop some crab traps while we were out fishing, pulled them, got a nice little haul. Uh, 10 or 11 good size fat blue crabs. So I'm going to show you how I steam my blue crabs, how I eat them. So enjoy the video. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button down below. Let's cook some crabs. So this is my can cooker right here. Uh, Outrigger Outdoors, I think is where I got it from. But this is their the larger can cooker. It's got the rack down in the bottom. I'm going to take uh, some of our local brew here from Perfect Plain Brewery here in Pensacola. This is a lime lager. And I'm just going to pour, pour it right into the bottom here. And depending on how much is in there, I may or may not add just a little bit of water. You want your liquid just under the rack down there. I just finished putting the lemon in. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the crabs in. I'm going to drop them in, layer them, season them, layer them, season them. So every layer's got a little seasoning on it. The seasoning I'm going to use this time around using some Everglades seasoning. There it is. And just good old cayenne. And I might throw some garlic in there too, probably. So let's get the crabs in the pot and get ready. Now, these crabs are still alive, so I gotta work quick when I get them out of the ice because as soon as they start to warm up, they will come back and uh, be very angry. So the ice does make them lethargic. in there so we'll season them up so much season with dusty i did it as a uh, cayenne there Hell yeah then we're using some everglades seasoning in this round i've never done it before with everglades but i can't imagine it being bad so you got one layer in there all seasoned up and then just keep working oh God. that's a big boy was that the, was that the big i one? think that might have been the big one that was a freaking stud hey. Check this monster out. Get Look at those claws. Claw. That's 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 a blue crab right there. That is a big boy. Or girl. Oh, well then the seasoning's over it, so. Got the layer of cayenne. Got the layer of Everglades. Let's roll, baby. Alright. All right, so I'm going to show you how to use the can cooker. <laughs> Lay it on. These do lap down right here. And throw it on heat. You'll start seeing steam come out of here. Once the steam starts rolling out of that little hole, you turn your heat down to low. I think it's 15 minutes, give or take a couple. I'm going to look it up real quick, but it's approximately 15 minutes. You steam them. When you open the lid, the crabs are going to come out. They're going to be a bright red. When they're that bright red, Done. So you, just, so you just turn the burner on wide open until it starts to steam and then cut it back? Yep, that's nice. it. Sounds easy enough. This thing's amazing. I love it. It looks pretty handy. Well, All right, guys. We'll crabs to eat. Food is on the stove. Uh, but y'all got to remember, when you're filming for somebody, you got to have balance. So, you know, you got to balance it out and keep proper weight on one side. Actually, I think this is a little heavy. Is that better? <laughs> yeah, that's good. You got them leveled out? Yeah. Now it's my turn. It's called the crab dance. Alright y'all, while these crabs are steaming, 
Make sure you smash that subscribe button for me down below. Click the like button on the video. Yeah, no fishing in this video. It's been a, a rough week with the weather. We got another week or two of it blowing like this. So I'm going to have to get creative to make uh, videos for you guys. So make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss it. I am this close to 3,000 subscribers. I think I need 42 more people. Help me out. Let's get it, all right? So I did steam blue crab two weeks ago, and I didn't have the proper utensils. And that was a pain in the butt. Ended up getting pliers out of the toolbox to try to crack these things and get to some of the meat. Uh, jump on Amazon. I found a really awesome set. There's two more of each of these that came in the set. And I think it was like seven bucks. So those are going to come in handy today. All right, these crabs have been steaming for about 25 minutes. It's time to go ahead and check them. Man, I got some raccoon eyes bad from today. Uh, let's check these crabs. We're looking for that that red color. When we find that right red color, we know they're done. Steamed up, steamed up the lens. <laughs> Those look awesome. Good. Yeah. All right, y'all, so all that's left to do is not burn your hand like I just did. Take these off the heat, and then I'm going to use some tongs, get them in a bowl. We're going to sit down. We're going to eat. I'll see you at the table. Let's go. So what you're looking for when you cook crabs is they want to be about the color of the side of Dusty's face there. <laughs> Gorgeous. Is that the big mamma jamma? All right, guys, so a lot of states have regulations on crabs. Usually it goes by the measurement, which is typically from the tip to the tip of the top of the shell. The carapace, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Florida is unregulated, so we don't have to worry about that. But if you want to do some crabbing, make sure you check out your regulations and your local area. A lot of times you don't even need a fishing license for it. You can get a crab-specific license as long as you don't keep them out over X amount, something like that. But check it out if you want to try it out. Now, a lot of states, the, the ones that are regulated, most of the time, I believe it's five inches or bigger or five and a half inches or bigger, one of the two, but we don't have that problem here. Now, I will say, if you do get into a whole bunch of crabs, toss the females back. Keep the population going for the future so you can have crabs next year and your kids can have crabs 10 years from now, 20 years from now. So try to throw the females back if you can. Florida does say you have to throw back the egg-bearing females. That is the only regulation on blue crab in Florida, I believe. All right, guys, so I'm going to dig in on these, and uh, I'll show you how to crack them real quick, how to open them up, remove the dead man's fingers, stuff like that, the basics. I'm not going to go all the way through the crab with you. It's 7 o'clock at night. We haven't eaten since about 8 o'clock this morning. We had a little breakfast sandwich before we got on the boat. So I'm going to run through this with you real quick. Then we're going to sit down and devour these and go from there. All right, so whenever you go to crack your crab open, to do place, I don't know why there's glitter on my crab. Is that from a glass metal? Probably. <laughs> Anyways, when you go to crack them open, put your hand down on the legs right here, then you'll pull up on the shell. And usually, if you're lucky, like that, it'll all come off at once. Then you gotta go through. Top comes out mostly clean. Get you a scraper or something, because they are hot. Pull the dead man fingers off, which are the uh, the lungs or the gills of the crab. Then. That's these things right yep. here, guys. That's them right there. Yep, well, and you don't wanna right eat there. those. Yep, don't eat those. Then uh, what a lot of people do is then take your apron, pull your apron off, and pull your face. That's hot. That's hot. Crack them. Then down in here, you're going to have a ton of meat. You'll just have to dig in to get to it. Obviously, the claws will have meat. The knuckles will have meat. There'll be meat in there. And then inside all these little legs, a lot of people leave them. I'll probably screw it up just because we're filming. But there is a lot of meat down in these. You can break these open and get meat out of there as well. I'm going to sit down and eat this crab and the rest of these crabs with Kevin from Salty Bottom Outdoors. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe button down below. I'll have a fishing video for you next week. I promise you that. So I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a comment down below if you did. I'll do some more crab videos. I'll go through an entire catch, clean, cook with you if you want me to. Show you what I do with my traps, how I bait them where I place them the whole nine yards. Thank y'all for watching. I'm Dusty. This is the Dusty Fish Company. I'll see y'all in the next one. Take care. What he means is the Dusty Crab Company.